Ricochet Electronic Color TV Game Center. Awesome. This is a pretty cool little Pong machine uh, from the, I believe, the mid-70s or so. I don't remember the exact date this came out. But it's kind of neat. It's a full-color Pong machine, and the market was saturated with Pong machines. After Atari released Pong in the arcade, and we had the Atari Pong home console, the Pong machines came out all over the place. And this is one I remember playing at a friend's house. And I kind of enjoyed it. It had some pretty neat options to it. So let's open the box up. Doop, 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 doop. So of course in the box we have our classic wood grain Pong consoles. We have our warranty and service information manual. Pretty cool. We have our instruction manual. The owner's manual. Installation, maintenance, operation, and troubleshooting. Model number MT1A. Please read before using game. That's a pretty thick manual. Oh, shows how to do the channel selection. How to hook up to your TV set. Then we have all the different discussion of the games. Pretty cool. Of course, here's a old microelectronics switch box. Check this out. That is pretty cool. <laughs> You used to see those all the time. Of course, we have our power supply. And it's the official power supply. That's called Mike. Mike the power supply. <laughs> it says right here, important. If you decide to use the AC adapter, you must use Mike 728014 only. So only Mike is authorized to power this thing. I love that the power supply has a name. Mike! So let's take a look at one of the consoles here. To try to pull out of the box. Oh, there's wires everywhere. Pretty cool. Got her paddle. Pro Slam, Pro English, Manual Serve. Got her selection switch here for the different games. Row of switches up here for different things for speed. English or, or normal, serve manual, serve auto, racket, pro or normal, collar, court or player. Pretty cool. Of course, on the bottom here, we have our channel select switch right there. Pretty cool. And then the second console is just a slave to the first one. All it has on it is the Pro Slam, Pro English, manual serve, has the power on and off. And you can turn the sound on and off from this one. So I guess if you're playing this guy and you're getting honked off, you just turn off the machine. <laughs> of course, this one also has the battery compartment as well, which doesn't want to open. It just opened a minute ago. Now I don't want to open. It's being, there we go. It looks like it takes four C batteries. Cool. Now it doesn't want to close. There we go. So let's hook this thing up and see what it looks like. Okay, let's turn it on. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Right now it's on Wrecked Ball. So let's see. Let's uh, just check out the color switch here. Right now it's on Player. Let's put it to Court. Oh, cool. <laughs> Gives you like grass. Empty space. Grass. That's kind of cool. Uh, racket, pro or normal. Right now it's on normal. Let's put it on pro. Oh, no. No. <laughs> oh, wow. That's cool. Got manual serve, auto serve. English on the ball. Pro or normal. That's the spin and stuff like that you put on there. And the overall speed of the ball. We got normal and pro. That's kind of cool. Turn the sound on and off. Okay. So here's racquetball. Of course, here's the classic tennis game. This is kind of cool. Looks better with the green court though. Then we have hockey. Hockey on grass. There we go. Black ice. Then we have ricochet, which is handball. This is one player pong. So let's mess around with some of the buttons here. Right now I've got it on. Everything's set on normal. Speed normal. English normal. Manual serve. I got it set to manual. 
rack it to normal size. So hit the manual serve button. Whoops. Uh-oh. What happened? Went right through me. I think I freaked it out. Oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Whoa! You see how fast that went? Holy cow! I can't hit it. What happened? Let's reset. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty challenging. Oh, oh my gosh. Let's put that back to normal speed. So hit the Pro English button. Let's see what happens. We'll put it to Pro. And Oh, cool. We kicked it off to another angle. Okay, let's try the Pro Slam button here. Whoa, that was cool. Oh, I missed it. We'll put it on auto serve. Here we go. It's on auto serve now. Pro slam. Whoops. Pro slam. <laughs> oh, this is kind of cool. I like this. Let's turn the background off. It's got some nice looking colors. I like this. This is pretty cool. Pretty awesome, man. I like this. Now, right when he gets ready to hit... Oh, my gosh! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Trying that slam button, huh? It's not working, though. Yeah, it is. See how fast it took off a couple times? You got to hit it right before it hits your paddle. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. I guess you have to serve. Yes! Oh. <laughs> Whoa. I think you you're, I think the buttons on yours are working and not on mine. Just hold the slam button down. There you go. Whoa! That speeds up the ball when you hold it down. Okay, I get it. I hit that ready? Here mm -hmm. we go. I'll put some English on it. If you hold the English button down, it'll shoot off in another direction. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Well, at least I'm not going to lose by zero. Now, if you flip the serve button to auto, you don't have to worry about push the auto to serve button anymore. There you go. It'll automatically serve once the ball goes out of play. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> so it's just basically like it's Pong, but with yeah. a couple little extra options. Yeah, they added some extra options to the game, which kind of makes it kind of cool. I mean, I like its color. Yeah. Whoa, that was cool. You can definitely pick it out easy. Oops. Ha, ha. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? That was me holding in the, the American one. And... Oh. What the? I what? have no what? idea what that was. How'd you do that? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> that was a glitch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think. Because I wasn't pushing any buttons. And you hit that ball. You hit that ball. Ooh, angled right in. Oh, you angled it right in. Oh! Oops. <laughs> <laughs> you never claimed to be good at sports. I'll stick to bowling. Stick to bowling. It's a little bit more challenging. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh! I keep wanting to move my paddle out of the way on your side. No, don't do that. I know. 
You want to hit it because it'll make it go a different angle. Yeah, I, I get that, but I keep wanting to, like, you know, keep it from coming back. But, yeah. Oh! Your turn to hit it. It's hard to keep track who has to hit it next. Oh, that was you again. But I hit it last. Some of the other Pong games I've played actually will switch the player's position so you know who has to hit it next. This way you can lose track real easy. Who has to hit it next? Whoops, I missed. Oh. But see, I. That was you. So it changed because you, you missed, again. so then I had to hit it again, even though yeah, you... Best best thing is just always go after it, no matter what. Because I lose track of whose turn it is to hit, since it doesn't switch positions. Oh, one more point. Oh, that was, you. That was me. I was supposed to hit it that time. That was me again. I was supposed to hit it. Oh. Oh, man. I was supposed to hit it again. I missed it. Oh, there we go. All right. So it would seem that I'm worse at racquetball. <laughs> you did the best at hockey. Yeah. I'm, I'm good at hockey. I'm okay at tennis. And I suck at racquetball. <laughs> Pretty cool. That is me. Thanks for watching.